Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just noticed that my one of my favorite YouTubers, Wes Wes Plays, who makes um airplane videos. Um, he's almost at a hundred thousand subscribers. So we're gonna be watching um and reacting to his one year old overrun uh plane crash story. While we watch Social Boy as well. Let's begin. Well, I'm not actually going to be reacting. I'm just going to be reacting. Wow, look at this. Brand new career of yours and it's already your third time flying. Good for you, kid. Yeah, thanks. Definitely an honor being part of British Airways. My next plane should be arriving in a few minutes. One of the last planes of the day. Whoa, really? What plane? I believe it's some old 767. Oh, neat. Back when I was a pilot, that was one of my favorites. Would you look at that? There she is. My old 767-300ER. Oh man, back when I used to run that thing, she worked like butter. And it's the exact same when I flew back in the 90s. It's fascinating how it's still running, actually. Well, I think I have to go now, and I think you have a flight to take over. That's right. Take care of my old plane, will ya? Okay, talk to ya. It was an honor meeting you. to go this is gonna be my first time on an airplane is it fun daddy yes son it's actually pretty good pretty fascinating are planes very dangerous daddy oh uh, no actually planes have been very safe lately yeah very safe well actually our plane is boarding right now follow me jimmy Do you think the runways are safe after what happened last week? Hopefully they are. Commentary for this one. I'm gonna pause real quick. Let's check on Social Blade. Wow, still 99,999. Let's reload Social Blade just in case it changed for a while. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's let's continue. So, uh, when are we gonna start the stunt? In about 30 minutes.
righty British Airways 1-2 is now in short final. Copy that, just to assure you you are landing on runway 36 left. Uh, Captain, you might want to look at this. British Airways 1-2, you might want to extend your landing gear. Ah, uh, it seems like the hydraulics have failed on us. What are we gonna do? Well, now we're probably too low to abort the landing. <gasps> are we parking now, Daddy? Tower, we are having hydraulics issues. What do we do? You know, you could always go around. Okay, we're gonna have to make a no-gear landing. Alrighty, we'll have emergency services on standby. That's a lot of damage. Alright, well, sir, uh, you'll be ready in no time. You seem to be doing fine, so hopefully we'll get you out here as soon as possible. Check on Social Blade. I don't understand. Like, I, I'm really new to Social Blade, but does it always just stay at the nearest hundred? Like, what if I check on my channel? Like, if I do that and then look at my subscriber count. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's the right subscriber count. And it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, either he's gained no subscribers, or it's just, that's how it is. It can't, like, calculate or something. Air Canada, Flight 64, you're clear to learn on one way. One, Winds are at 14 knots, heading 90 degrees to the east.
Hey man, how are you? I'm doing pretty good actually. I'm excited for this flight. I'm just gonna let you know that it's very windy out there, so... Yeah, I definitely heard there was more wind than usual today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so many people are traveling now, especially during the holidays, and they don't want their flights to get delayed again, so... Yeah, exactly. Just have fun out there. Air Canada Flight 64 now boarding at gate Okay, three. well that's me. Guess I'll see you around. Okay, see you around. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we're boarding. This is the final boarding call for Air Canada Flight 64. Okay, kids, please stand by as the plane is being de-iced, which will hold us back around 30 minutes. So the weather is forecast to be very windy, and as far as I'm concerned, the flight will be pretty unstable. I mean, uh, we could shuffle some passengers around to help with weight balance. Well, why not? I guess I'll leave you to deal with that. Okay, kids, we're gonna have to shuffle a few of you around for weight balance, so let's go. Uh, hi. Oh, hi there. This is really cool. This is actually my first time flying. Oh, cool. Attention, everyone. Sorry for the delay. We're now ready to push back. Welcome. Air Canada Flight 64, you are cleared to taxi to runway 13 via Alpha, Alpha 4, and Alpha 6. Cleared for takeoff on runway 13. Have a safe flight. So what are you traveling for? Oh, I'm just visiting family for the holidays. Oh, neat. Also, kids, let me remind you that this is going to be a very bumpy flight in general. And we don't want to stand up like we're What about you? Well, I'm just heading to. Oh, that's just turbulence. Okay, that happened. Uh, do you think it'll be a little too windy to land? No, I think we're fine. Besides, we have to land anyway. Oh, sorry. Requesting permission to descend. Air Canada, flight 64, you are clear to descend. Contact tower on approach. Okay, we're now beginning our descent. Air Canada, flight 64, clear to land on 24 left. Winds are 20 knots heading to the north. I mean, 20 knots isn't too bad. What in the- Try regaining control of the aircraft. I'm trying!
You know, you can always go around. You know what? We could try that. That might cause more problems. Hey, uh, I'm getting no response from the ailerons. Okay, we have to land. Just land! Attention everyone, we are now coming in for a landing. Brace for impact. At Canada 64. Bolt landing now. Emergency services are on standby. I need everyone to evacuate the aircraft. One at a time, no shoving. Time will be dealt with in a moment's time. Until then, a few flights will be held back, especially with these wind speeds. You must be grateful you didn't overshoot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd better get back to work. Have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Wait, I've heard that from somewhere. again. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. Oh, wait, look, there's the plane. This is the final boarding call for Air Canada 1352. So how's your day today? It was pretty fine. Wait, where are we heading today again? Perth International? This is Air Canada Flight 1352 requesting permission to push back at gate 4. Air Canada Flight 1352, you are clear for pushback. 
Nailed it, man. Okay, next time you're doing it, right? Okay, we're gonna taxi to runway 36 right. Air Canada 1352 now taking off. Air Canada 1352, you are clear for takeoff. Be safe out there, boys. This is Lufthansa Flight 4000 requesting permission to take off on runway 15. I don't, I don't know, just do whatever. I don't really care. Um, I don't really think that sounds legit, if you know what I mean, right? Ha, <laughs> don't worry. This is perfectly fine. He, he sounded like he didn't really care. Just, he might not be having the best day, probably. I'm, I'm He's certified and all that, but I don't think we should do this. I mean, you're, you're the head pilot, so I guess so. Exactly, right? So, let, let's just go. This is Air Canada Flight 1352 requesting permission to land on runway 11, Perth International. Listen, do whatever, I don't really care. So is runway 11 clear or not? It, it, it's clear, okay? It's clear, 100% clear. Is it just me, or did he not sound that legit, if you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? This guy's like certified and all that, or else he wouldn't be up there. Like, he didn't sound that sincere. Well, at this moment, he's the only one who's able to see the runway, so he's the only one we could rely on. Wow, it's really nice to have the only one in first class. It would be terrible if there was a crash, because I'd be the first one to die. Okay, so are you sure we're gonna do this? Yeah, I bet this will be fine. Look, someone's taking off where the runway intercepts. Just don't worry. Air traffic control will tell them to hold short. Tower off duty. Come 
on, man. He's not stopping anytime soon. Come on, it's too late now. By the time we get there, he'll already be in the air. You know, we could always go around. You know what? We're going around. We're going around. You went around too late. You're experiencing experience pirates. That's a lot of damage. That's super overpriced, but whatever. Can you just buy it? We've been shopping all day. My eyes hurt. There's a green house down there. Whatever. But, uh, okay. Wait, what happened? How did they get the... Oh, wait, that was probably in a different room. So you're traveling back to America, huh? Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. Are you feeling well enough to travel yet? You can always stay here longer if you need to. No, no, I think I'm good enough. Thanks, though. Alright, so a cab will be here shortly if you need it. Oh, okay. Thanks. So, who originally brought you here to Australia? Oh, I have parents here, and I was just gonna visit them and tell the whole... Yeah, I know what you mean. Anyways, I'm now planning on heading to their house for the remaining time I have before heading back to America. Alright, well, perfect. It looks like a cab is here. Safe travels, mate. Okay, well, thanks for everything, I guess. Honey, get over here. Oh my goodness, son, where have you been? We were expecting you almost three weeks ago, and you wouldn't even answer our calls or messages. And then we hear about a regional jet colliding with some other plane at our local airport. Well, I was- You're traveling in a very unsafe time, boy. You're lucky you weren't part of that flight, eh? Apparently, everyone on board suffered fatal injuries or death. Everyone! Well at least he made it here safely. Yeah, but the day after tomorrow, we will be back on one of those aluminum tubes flying thousands of miles over the ocean back to America. I actually think I'm gonna go to bed now. I was on that flight. Why would he not? I, like, I want to see the reaction. And also, was that Air Canada one or was it only private? 
like his own private jet. <laughs> I go into the little thing out. <gasps> no! You can get Robux here? Why? Uh, safe travels, son. Make sure not to die. landing gear on descent, causing the plane to ungraciously skid beyond the runway. Hmm. Something seems different. Yeah. What's that smell? You think something's leaking? I'm not sure. We should probably inform someone. Yeah, if they inform someone, realistically, they would catch it. I think there's a leak of some sort down on the apron. I'd recommend you switch gates. Well, as a budget airline, we don't want to be rebooking people over and over again. Which is what's been happening recently due to events. So, I think we'll just give the passengers a filtration mask and uh, that should do the trick. I would really advise against that. Are you Wes Films? Uh, yes I am. Oh, you're the one from YouTube, right? Sure am. This is incredible. Oh, that's my flight. It was nice talking with you. Bro, it's my flight as well. I guess we can talk when we arrive? Well, I don't know, since I'm gonna have to race for my second flight straight after. Oh, well, it was nice meeting you. Let's reload just in case. I can't even get the exact amount though. I mean like obviously um people are subscribing. Yeah. Flight 3760, clear for takeoff on runway 33. Have a safe flight. Clear for takeoff on runway 33. Weird. I don't smell it anymore. Uh, do you think there could be something on board the aircraft? Like, I would, I would notify, like, 
I'm glad we don't have to wear these anymore. Bro, have you tried the new flight simulator yet? Uh, no. I quit making aviation related videos on my channel months ago. Oh, well I would recommend trying it. It's pretty sick. Almost like flying a real plane. I installed it a few weeks ago and I can fly pretty smoothly. If you ever want to buy it, we can fly with each other. And teach you how if you really want. Can I just have some space here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I've just been feeling unnaturally tired for the past hour. Well, what do you think it is? Man, I don't know. If you'd be able to cover for my shift, that would be great, you know? Alright. Why are you up to sleep? Uh, something doesn't seem right. What's wrong? It's 11 p.m. Everyone should be sleeping. Most of us at least. Uh, what's happening? The plane is pitching down. I don't remember being warned about anything. Follow me. Wake up. Jet W3760, do you copy? Jet W3760, do you copy? You said you know how to fly, right? Not in real life. Besides, this plane's like 30 years Jet old. Jet W flight 3760, did you get my last transmission? Well, we have to do something. What the? Landing without even communicating with us? What do you think it is? I don't know. Was the plane... hijacked? I don't think that's possible. But I'm getting no response from either pilots. They should have contacted us a while ago. I've never had to get used to such a data interface before. Well, what now? Look up ahead. I believe that's our destination. So we're seriously gonna land this? Uh, yeah. We sort of have to. Alright then. Here goes something. Jet W3760, please acknowledge. Hey you. Yes sir. I hate to have to do this, but... Responding airliner heading straight towards our airport. Pilots would acknowledge our commands and are just getting closer. Gather as much information about that aircraft as possible. Plants 4299 is now taking off. Uh, do you hear that? Uh, yes. Are we being followed? I have eyes on JW3760. It looks like some old MD90 making a horrendous approach on runway 16 Sydney International Airport. Oh no. Jet W3760, abort your landing now. We're so close. Guys, you are getting far too low. Please abort your mission. Come on, come on.
won't stop. Oh my goodness. What happened? So, what the hell was all that about? Listen, I literally don't know. Well, hmm. we'll have to look into that. Well, I hope that never happens again. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I have to reach my second flight now. Oh, well, it was nice meeting you. I don't think I'll ever forget this. <laughs> yeah. Well, see you around. Have a safe flight. Breaking news! As an old Jet WMD-90 was said to be hijacked mid-flight and was caught attempting to land at Sydney International Airport without permission from air traffic control. Investigators found drowsy passengers on board, half-conscious pilots, and unnatural scent within the plane's cabin. The first officer told us he didn't remember landing so abruptly, or even landing at all. Ah, oh, those silly pilots. Investigators are still searching the aircraft for evidence for what really happened. Until then, the truth will remain a mystery. After speed bird flight 12 incident hey, who's this dude? Earlier, That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, yeah. Like 43 million gained any subscribers? That's insane, right? That's super overpriced, but whatever. Can you? Investigators are actively trying to figure out what caused Jet W Flight 3760 to land without making any communication with air traffic control. What else have we discovered? I see Flight 3760 on the radar, noticing they haven't made a single transmission. So, you think the plane was hijacked? Well, that's the only logical thing that could have happened. I... I didn't know what was happening. The plane, still making its approach, was saying nothing. And I'm just thinking to myself, this shouldn't be happening. Unusual smell down on the apron. Are you sure it was on the apron? The investigators scan the wreckage for anything unusual. Until they find a clue that might have caused everyone on board to pass out. Don't open this. We'll send it to the lab shortly. Days pass, and investigators still can't find out how the plane managed to land itself. Well, what else haven't we done? The black box. Wait, the black box! Hey, look, look, look. Among the wreckage, the investigators search for the... 
say I have like a mysterious creature that's showing up in every uh, Among the wreckage, the investigators search for the black box. Definitely not the original pilots. Do they mention any names? What's our throttle at? What should our throttle be at? Maybe 30%. We don't know who was in there or how many. Two by the sounds of it. The investigators finally come up with a conclusion. A mystery substance was left on the aircraft sending toxic fumes from one of the rear laboratories to the rest of the cabin. With the scent said to be on the apron, passengers would be able to remove the provided filtration masks once in the air, leading to everyone, including the pilots, passing out mid-flight. As the aircraft continued losing altitude, two passengers broke through the cockpit doors, saving the aircraft and everyone on board from what would have been a tragic and fatal disaster. The two teenagers who abruptly got the aircraft onto the ground remain unknown, and investigators are doing everything they can to find out who they were. It's lighter here, what's so neat in general? <laughs> or friends. Let's pass on the investigation and now it's going to Skyfall. Now that you've seen the Carvana app, any questions? Hi, Becky here. What if I have a small budget? No problem. Carvana lets you customize your down payment and monthly payment on your dream car. What if I have a large budget? Check social blade. I don't understand. You'd think they would have like the exact subscriber count. I mean, like, I don't want to unsub unsubscribe because then it would be like I haven't been subscribed for like a while. Is that the plane we're gonna go inside of? Yes, son. That is it. Do you think we're almost gonna die this time? Oh, uh, no, son. Of course not. We'd be lucky to have that happen to us again. Well, the bad type of luck, you know. But I think three days of visiting the family was enough to clear our minds. We'll enjoy this flight. Pontus is now boarding again. Oh, that's us. So, first flight, huh? Yeah, well, first flight like this. Alright, sounds good. 
Here, you go over the checklist. How about you go over the checklist and I'll contact air traffic control. Alright, gotcha. This is Qantas Flight 49, requesting engine start and pushback from gate 4. Qantas Flight 49, you have clearance to push back. Now hey guys, thank you for choosing Qantas. We hope you have a safe and comfortable flight with us today. Please take the time to watch this extremely high budget safety video on the 240p screens in front of you. Qantas 49, you are clear to take off from 10 left. Have a safe flight. You too. Now hey guys, if I can get your attention, we have reached our cruising altitude of around 35,000 feet. We will be going around with food and beverages shortly. Uh, you're that guy from the flight that overran a few days ago, correct? Oh, uh, what makes you say that? Well, you guys were on the news. I saw it. Well, I guess we were. Oh, I wonder what that was like. I've been thinking of quitting my job as a flight attendant for a while now, since commercial aviation has really taken a turn lately. And that one plane that landed yesterday is just getting more and more scary, you know? Okay, I'll get one glass of water. Oh, okay. You got the autopilot? Oh, I almost forgot. Well, I think what you need in order to meet my standards is to take more responsibility, you know? Oh, sorry. I will do my best. You know, I'm only trying to help you. If you want to be like me, then you're going to have to step up your game. Well, I'll be right back. Be careful. Weird. Where's my glass of water? What's happening? Let me in. I can't. Now he gets brace for impact. I'm not going to ask again. Open the goddamn door. I'm busy. Can't you tell? Okay, so, wow, look at this. We have a 
report of another plane crash. This time, a Qantas A330 was reported missing earlier today. The plane was said to have lost 20,000 feet in just under a few minutes. It's becoming harder and harder for airlines to find pilots who are willing to put up with such dangers. Investigators are investigating, trying to figure out what happened on board Qantas Flight 409. They need to find out what caused the 12-year-old Airbus A330 to disappear off the radar over the Atlantic two hours after takeoff. Yes, yeah, so the plane took off here. And the last transmission to Chicago O'Hare ATC was for a frequency change. Sean's been on the job as a certified captain, flight instructor and investigator for a little over 35 years. He's definitely one of the best in the team, but I don't think any of us have seen anything quite like this. You know, sure, it's usually the small things like bird strikes, fuel leaks, hydraulic issues. Everyone survives, but not this time. Alright, thanks. Yes. Oh, no way. The wreckage has been found. They get a call from a few witnesses claiming to have spotted the wreckage of the crashed plane. But first, the investigators need to talk to another witness. Before takeoff, the last thing I said was, well, I cleared them for takeoff, said to have a safe flight. And it's funny because the first officer said you too, which is a little unusual for- Stop there. You too? What type of experience the pilot would say that? Unless... Right, pitch trim. Almost forgot. I think we're gonna go around again. Well, thanks so much, Sean. I'll be a great pilot. Make quarters with clues piling up, the investigators start to believe it was inexperience that could have led to the plane's demise. But, uh, where was the captain? Couldn't he have stopped us? I don't know, but tomorrow we're visiting the wreckage. The search for the black box begins. The crew doesn't know whether they can recover or even find the data it holds. Uh, this can't be right. Yeah, let's check out these all year recordings. What the investigators hear is not what they expected. Why didn't he just open the doors? Well, if we look back at the screen... It wouldn't have been possible. Come on, respond! Just let me in! I can't! The investigators rewind the tape a few times until they know what might have brought the A330 down. The captain left the cockpit to use the bathroom shortly before the autopilot decided to disconnect. First Officer Jerry dismisses the warning and re-engages autopilot once more. But the same warnings show again and the plane's nose begins to pitch downwards. Without control, the plane enters an extreme nosedive and the first officer can't do anything about it. The plane's adderu was the cause of most of the faults, sending incorrect information to the computers. The plane plummets into the Atlantic, leaving no survivor. If you like money, this song is for you. Honey is the number one shopping tool in the United States of America.
hope you get there, West play West 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 players, you know. I mean like I kinda wish it would show like hundred percent accuracy, you know. Okay, so let's go back to YouTube, check on West plays just in case. So still it's so close. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Hope you get to 100,000 soon. Make sure to subscribe if you got all the way to the end of the video. An hour long video. Can you believe that? But, yeah. Make sure to subscribe, like, turn on the bell. Subscribe to West Plays. Or also known as Wes. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.